Welcome back. At oh. 98 years old, pardon me. I'm still freezing from the snow. Your brain has frozen, I see. <laughs> so has the Better Business Bureau's time come and gone. A stunning report by ABC News claims the Watchdog Group is giving out good grades under its new rating system for a price. Joining us from Washington to discuss this hit to the Better Business Bureau is Kerry Tolosko, who is Senior Vice President for Policy at the Institute for Liberty. Kerry, good morning. Good um, morning, everyone. Let's talk about this ABC News investigation that found that basically the Better Business Bureau is less about uh, revealing bad business practices and more about lining its own pockets. Yeah, they might want to change their name to the Better Bartering Bureau because if they make a deal with you and you pay the dues, then you become uh, an A-rated organization. So it seems like the main criteria for how your business does is whether your credit card works when the Better Be Business Bureau runs it through for them, not for, you know, yourself or a consumer. Well, here's what the Better Business Bureau told us. Quote, in the case of accrediting phony businesses, including one with the same name as the terrorist organization Hamas, mistakes were made and it should not have happened. Carrie, is that enough to explain, just in, in case folks don't know, Hamas, a fake company that wasn't actually a company at all, but just a name, got accredited by the Better Business Bureau. Uh, is it enough to say, to say mistakes are made, or is this more of a culture? It's more of a culture, and as far as the Hamas application goes, I think it must have been taken by an ostrich, because you'd have to have your head in the sand for 10 years not to know what Hamas is. And unfortunately, all over the Internet, you'll find instances where businesses receive bad ratings or fake businesses receive good ratings based on what they pay. So it's easy for the BBB to say, oh, gee, it's an isolated incident. But unfortunately for consumers and entrepreneurs, it's not. And, you know, there's a lot of places you can find information on the Internet now about businesses. You can just search a contractor or someone you want to do business with, you, there's the ripoff report, there's my favorite, which is called I'm tired of being screwed.com. You know, you can rate your doctors. <laughs> there's all kinds of things you can do. I think the, the better business model right now is flawed at best and antiquated at worst. So are you calling for it to go away? I, I don't have a problem with it going away. I think people are so smart now about finding out information on their own. Consumers are very, very savvy. Um, in 1912, when the business, Better Business Bureau started to save us from snake oil, it served a really good purpose. But yeah, uh, I don't know that that many people use it. And now, after all this controversy, I'm not sure that anybody's going to feel like they can ever rely on it again. Carrie Tolosco, thank you for joining us. We'd like to have the Better Business Bureau come on this program and explain.